Wait a minute, what's that? A modern locomotive. This is an MTH Rail King Crusader. It is a 462 streamlined locomotive with streamlined tender. So I picked this up um, in an auction and it was only the tender shell and the locomotive shell pre-painted. So I picked up a used, non-running, missing the motor chassis um, for a 462 MTH product. And with minor modifications to the steam chest, it fit perfectly inside the shell. I picked up a broken motor and decided, let's see if we can get this thing to work. Now, nothing I own is proto sound. Nothing I own is electronic. So... This is a little bit outside my comfort zone, but we got everything to run. So we're going to show you how I did it. Um, first, the tender didn't have a base. And MTH Parts is operating again out of California, but the base isn't something that they sell. So I picked up a flat sheet of brass and then made a pattern. There's notches on the back to fit in the shell. This, the holes are where it mounts to the shell. Um, I found these really nice die cast trucks. They're not what would have been on the Crusader, but they were free and they're actually really nice. It's kind of heavy duty. Um, and then I decided to make the tender my little command center. So this is a bridge rectifier. And a bridge rectifier will take AC current that's provided at the track through the outside and center rail and convert it so that it'll run a DC CAN motor, which most modern locomotives have. When you do that, the locomotive only runs forward, or by flipping the wires, the locomotive will run reverse. To change directions, you need this double pull, double throw switch. So when it's in its center position, nothing happens. When you slide the switch forward, the locomotive runs forward, and when you manually slide the switch back, the locomotive will run in reverse. So I wired that all in using this MTH connection cable um, to the locomotive. So if the locomotive is on the track and I apply power, nothing happens except the lights coming on. But when we plug in the tender, now we can run the locomotive. So this is my frame. I sprayed the bottom blue. Not perfect, but pretty good. Fits the shell perfectly. The height is right. And for a drawbar, I had this old Marks drawbar laying around. Um, and it actually happened to be the length I needed and the little slit that's in it fits the hook on the Crusader perfectly. So I'm going to put the base into the tender shell. We'll put this on the tracks and show you everything running. All right, the Crusader on the rails. So I added... LED lighting on the front. Um, Evans Designs makes these wonderful um, AC, DC compatible LEDs that already have little resistors in them so that you don't blow them. Um, they're really inexpensive and they're guaranteed for two years. Super easy to wire. So I have mine running off track. Right now, I've got power on on the track, but the locomotive is not running because I have my switch set to neutral. By flicking the little switch forward, very easy to get to underneath the tender. And when I want it to go in reverse, we just walk back. Very simple to do. Throw the little switch underneath. Manually control your directions. Train backs up. So why didn't you just buy a new board? Uh, they're expensive. And everything I own is conventional. So I decided I would just try this and see if it works. 
It works actually really, really well. It's a really, really nice locomotive. I picked up the Shell and Tender for like $70. Um, the chassis, I think, was 40 bucks underneath of it. And like I said, I made the Tender base. So for, what, $120 when you do shipping? Um, and then a little throw switch and a bridge rectifier. I've got this really nice beautiful Crusader locomotive um, that will happily pull cars in my collection for a long time. I didn't realize it, but when I got the locomotive in the mail, I went downstairs and on the wall is the Crusader. I picked up a picture at a car show like 10 years ago, um, but I put the Crusader on the rails and it was like, oh my gosh, it's the train from the picture. So, little MTH Rail King Crusader O-Gauge Locomotive.